estuvo bien. Ah, vaya. No está, está bien. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we're going to start right now in a little bit. Give us one minute. Thank you, thank you for, for waiting. Okay, very good. Today we're going to learn about rising and falling into nation. Uh, hold on. Okay, I think you can see that. We're going to talk about rising and falling into nation. So I have some questions for you that we're going to see, and I want you to help me with the intonation part. Okay. So when we have, let me share my computer with you so that you can see. When we have yes or no questions, we're going to use rising intonation. Let me share my computer with you. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Yes or no questions, the intonation goes up. So my voice has to go up. Okay. For example, are they eating right now? Do you hear? My intonation is up. Are they eating right now? Are you watching TV? Are they eating dinner? Okay. So uh, my intonation goes up. Yes or no questions. 
Remember, yes or no questions start with the verb to be. And then I have falling intonation. Falling intonation is WH questions. What is your favorite food? What is your name? Do you see the intonation goes down? When is your birthday? Where are you from? Intonation down. Okay, so I want you to practice the rising and falling intonation. I have 10 examples and I want you to work in groups, falling, eh, eh, rising and falling intonation. I want you to work in groups. El otro, la, la persona que está escuchando tiene que escuchar la intonación, el volumen, hacia arriba o hacia abajo. So let's go to groups, okay? Let's go to groups. And le voy a poner esa foto en WhatsApp. Okay. Okay, Jose, are you there? Jose, está ahí? Hello, Brian, are you there? Hello. Ok, Brian, voy a, voy a agregar otra persona aquí. Eh, ¿Ya sabes okay. lo que estamos haciendo? Sí. Ok, sí. ya vio la foto. Ya recibí la imagen. Sí, esa está revisando. Eh, Magali. Eh, la no hay voy nadie a... más en el grupo. Ajá. Sí, la voy a mover a otro grupo. Ok. Ah, bueno, está bien. Permíteme. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Good okay, evening, are, teacher. Are you guys practicing? Did you see the pictures in WhatsApp? Uh, teacher, uh, uh, tuve que cambiarme de lugar porque no se ve, porque no, eh, no está, está 
porque no, no estaba, no se escuchaba. Ok, gracias. Okay. Le... ¿Nos escucha? ¿Me, sí, ¿me escuchan a mí? Eh, un poquito lejos y, y la, la voz un poquito baja, se, se ve el micrófono. ¿verdad? Sí, lo tengo al, al 100 la computadora, pero lo que sucede es que está lloviendo demasiado fuerte. Ok. Ok. Entonces, ajá. hasta ahorita voy a comenzar. Ok. Ahorita, right now. Dice... Entonces vayan a WhatsApp, pueden ver la foto que puse. Y okay. yes. usar la Rising and Falling Intonation. Ok, I begin. Let's see. Are they eating right now? Ok. Are you watching TV? Are they eating dinner? Are you teaching English? Are you listening to music? Are we learning English? Hello. Hello, Brian. Can you hear me? Sí, lo puedo escuchar. Carol, le sirve su micrófono. Yo creo que no. Sí, no, no escucho en realidad. Ok. Eh, Brian, so hagamos la práctica nosotros. Ok. Did you look at the pictures in WhatsApp? Ok. Ok, I have uh, the, first, the first picture is rising intonation. So I want you to practice the questions with rising intonation, ok? Ok. Are they eating right now? No. Are they eating right now? Are they eating right now? Yes. Okay, number two. Are you watching TV? Are you watching TV? Are you watching TV? Are they eating dinner? Are they eating dinner? Tienes que, tienes que subir al final. Tienes que subir. No estás subiendo. Okay. Are they eating re dinner? Repeat. Are they eating dinner? Are they eating dinner? Are they eating dinner? Yes, okay. Number four. Are, are you teaching English? Are you teaching English? Are you teaching English? Okay. Are you listening to music? Uh-huh. Is he watching TV? Is he watching TV? Is he watching TV? Okay. Is he watching TV? Uh-huh. Are you going tomorrow? Uh huh. Are you talking to somebody? Are we learning English? Is she cleaning her house? Is he, is she cleaning her house? Is she cleaning her house? Es así, mira, 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 escucha, Brian. Okay. La 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 la. La 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 la. La, 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 la. Are you watching TV? Are you, Are watching you listening TV? to music? Listen. Practice, practice, come on. Okay. Are you teaching English? Are you listening to music? Mm -hmm. Is he watching TV? Are you going tomorrow? Are you talking to somebody? Are we learning English? Is she cleaning her house? Is she cleaning her house? Is she cleaning her house? La 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 la. <laughs> Tiene que subir, no está subiendo. Okay, 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 Gabriela, are you there? Hola, sí la escucho. Okay, you're going to do the yes or no questions. Ready? Are they eating right now? Okay. Are you watching TV? Are they eating dinner? Are you teacher English? Are you listening to music? Is he watching TV? Are you going tomorrow? Are you talking to somebody? Are we learning English? Is she cleaning her house? Yes, very good. Okay, very good. Escuchaste, Brian? Yes. yes. La, 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 la. Can you do it? Can you try it one more time? Okay. Are they eating right now? 
-hmm. Are you watching TV? Are they eating dinner? Are you teaching English? Are you listening to music? Is he watching TV? Are you going tomorrow? Are you talking to somebody? Are we learning English? Is she cleaning her house? Okay, much better. Much better. Okay. Okay, todavía te falta la 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 la. Todavía te falta, no estás subiendo y no estás okay. poniendo como un interrogante. Are you learning English? Right? So, you need to you need to uh, focus a little bit on this, okay? Okay. All right, very good. Te, te voy a dar un tip. English yes. is very, eh, tiene más música que el español. Okay. okay. So, you have to go up and down more. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, continue. Now, go to the next one. Go to the next picture in WhatsApp. Okay. Falling. Hola. Okay, go to the next picture. Brian, go to the next picture. The next picture is uh, WH okay. questions. Falling yes. intonation. What is your favorite food? What is your name? When is your birthday? Where are you from? Why are you sad? How old, how old are you? Where do you live? What is your favorite restaurant? Where is your class? Who is your teacher? Okay, very good. Now, Brian, in estas, you have to go down, for example, y, y, y terminas así como con, una, con un interrogante. Tú la estás leyendo como si son oraciones en positivo, pero tienes okay. que ponerle una, un interrogante al final. What is your name? Okay. Where are you from? How old are you? Suena como un interrogante, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Porque le pongo una que... Como, ¿Qué quiere decir? You know? Eso es lo que estoy haciendo. Okay. Si no, so simplemente las estás leyendo como si fueran positivas. Pero son questions. You want information, right? They're WH questions. Okay, okay. Gabriela. Sí. What is your favorite food? What's, what's your name? When is your birthday? Where are you from? Why are you sad? How old are you? Where do you live? What is your favorite restaurant? Where is your class? Who is your teacher? Okay. Very good, very good, G Gabriela. Thanks. Okay. We're gonna go back now and we're gonna practice and we're gonna see a video. Okay. Okay, very good. Now we're back. Okay, I want to show you, uh, bueno, antes que vayamos al video. 
I want you to understand that uh, you have to read the, the sentences como si fueran un interrogante. No son oraciones en positivo. No son oraciones, no son afirmaciones, sino que son preguntas. Okay? So let's see if, uh, let me, let me look at my phone here. So if you look at number one in rising intonation, they say, are they eating right now? Are you watching TV? La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Y termino con un interrogante al final. No la leo como si fuera una afirmación positiva. Are they eating right now? No. Right? It says flat. Right? But you have to go up and you have to finish with la, 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 la. La, 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 la. You have to finish with the question. And the second picture, falling intonation. Entonces, te voy para abajo, pero termino con un interrogante. What is your name? La, 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 la. La, 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 la. When is your birthday? Where are you from? La, 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 la. Okay. Entonces voy para abajo, pero termino con un interrogante. Si no, si no hago ese interrogante, entonces simplemente, what is your name? When is your birthday? No, ¿verdad? So, I want to show you a video right now. And this video can help us with the falling and rising intonation. Okay, so, se lo voy a explicar ella. Pero es bueno que escuchen los ejemplos que ella está haciendo. Are you done talking? Have you finished your thought? Can I answer your question now? If so, please let me know with your voice. Welcome back to the English with Kim YouTube channel, where you'll learn what to say, how to say it, and why it matters. If you love learning how to use your voice more effectively, please be sure to hit subscribe. You're probably really careful with your choice of words, but your intentions might be misunderstood if you use the wrong intonation pattern. If your pitch rises when it should fall, you may sound uncertain or insecure, or the person you're speaking with may think you doubt them. If your voice drops when it should rise, you may sound annoyed instead of curious, or the other person may not be sure if you're asking them a question or telling them what you think. Native speakers often turn statements into questions by changing their pitch at the end of the sentence. If your tone always rises at the end because of how you use pitch in your native language, part of your meaning may be getting lost in translation. If you think that someone has misunderstood you, it may not actually be your language, it may be your tone of voice. The number one reason why non-native English speakers need to master falling intonation is not because it's the most common intonation pattern in American English, although it is. As far as I'm concerned, falling intonation is so essential because it lets the other person know that you've completed a thought. Falling intonation invites us to respond. Without thinking about it, native speakers are listening for a clear signal that you're ready for us to take over the conversation. If we don't hear this clear fall at the end of your statement or information question, we might not know that it's okay for us to speak up. Of course, there will always be people who interrupt or jump in when you're not quite finished, but polite people will wait for a clear cue that it's okay for them to start speaking. People who work with international students and non-native English speaking professionals often comment that they're not sure when the other person has finished speaking. I encourage you to think about whether your voice falls at the end of your statements. Is it easy for a native speaker to hear that you're done talking? If if not, the other person may. Ok, very good. Now, en corto, lo que ella está explicando es la importancia eh, por qué usamos la rising and falling intonation. Algo que ella dijo al inicio de que si tú no usas la intonación correcta, vas a sonar un poco inseguro. Vas a sonar incierto. Ok. Eh, what? What is your name? ¿Verdad? Suenas un poco incierto. Vas a sonar tímido, inseguro. So the intonation is there to help us. 
Are you eating dinner? Are you eating dinner? Right? Una gran diferencia. Are you eating dinner? Let me see the let me see the, the examples that we put. It says number one. Uh, no, no, number two. Are you watching TV? Are you watching TV? Right? Suena totalmente diferente. Are they eating dinner? Are they eating dinner? Different, right? Completely different. Okay. Otra cosa que nos ayuda, lo que ya decía, es que nos ayuda a saber, a, a, para que la otra persona sepa cuándo contestar. Okay. So, cuando yo hago mi interrogante, entonces la otra persona sabe que estoy esperando una respuesta. Uh, for example, number five. Are you teaching English? Entonces la otra persona es, eh, está, eh, es interrogante. Le da a la otra persona, eh, ya por lo menos sabe cuándo, cuándo ingresar. Ok. Now, si la leo flat, plano, sin ninguna intonación, la otra persona no va a saber si entrar en la conversación o no. Are you teaching English? La otra persona no sabe cuándo entrar o no. ¿Ok? So, eso es básicamente lo que ya estaba explicando. ¿Ok? Now, the other one, number, the second questions that I have, WH questions, I have to go down. Uh, aquí se me olvidó, what is your name? Se me olvidó el, el you. Uh, what is your favorite food? What is your name? La, 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 la. What is your name? When is your birthday? La, 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 la. La, 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 la. la. I go down. Okay. Where are you from? La, 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 la. Why are you sad? How old are you? Where do you live? What is your favorite restaurant? Where is your class? Who is your teacher? La, 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 la. Voy para abajo. Okay? So, ¿quién hizo la, la actividad en la plataforma sobre esto? Creo que la mayoría ya, ya lo hizo. Ok. So, ya practicando, eh, ya con la práctica que hicimos, lo que escuchamos. I think we can do a better job here. It's 5.7 knowledge check. So, let's look at it. Five point seven is knowledge check. Yeah, ahora vamos a ver five point nine also. All right, very good. So, rising and falling intonation. Are you ready? Number one. One. Are you wearing a coat? Up or down? Una vez más. Up. One. Up. Are you wearing a coat? Rising or falling intonation. Rising. Rising, rising. intonation. Number two. Perdón, creo que se me trabó. Mm. Creo que no, por veces no funciona aquí. Si, si le da ese problema, entonces denle clic aquí a la, donde dice pop out. Denle clic allí y lo va a llevar acá. One. Are you wearing a coat? Rising intonation, right? Number one. Number two. Two. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Falling. Falling intonation. Falling intonation. Mm. Three. What time is it? What time is it? Falling intonation. Falling. Falling. Four. 
Is it midnight? Is it midnight? Rising. Color is his t-shirt. Number five. Falling. Falling intonation. WH question. Six. Are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand? Rising. Rising intonation. Okay, very good. So that is the practice that we have. Okay. Uh, questions? So it is falling and rising intonations. Do you have questions? No, no, no questions. Okay. Now the next exercise, no sé si algunos ya llegaron ahí, 5.9. Did you uh, watch the video about uh, WH questions with present continuous? Okay, so, eh, esto lo vimos ayer un poquito. But let's look at it again. So, WH questions, present continuous. For example, si yo le pregunta a alguien, what are you doing? What are you doing? Entonces, estoy preguntando en la acción ahorita continua. Okay? So, let's, uh, let's watch the video here. And let me see, creo que no es muy largo. Hi everyone, only in this class you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what. Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's so I'm the last. Okay. 
Very good. So in this exercise, si ustedes quieren hacer el post, entonces pueden escribir la, las preguntas. Eh, las pueden escribir según las fotos. Right? You look at the pictures and then you, uh, you write the questions. Okay? Now, eso lo pueden hacer eh, como parte de, esta, de este video. Eh, yo, yo lo que voy a hacer es eh, les voy a dar unos links y vamos a trabajar unas worksheets. Ok. Ok. For example, here I have questions that we can use como un repaso simplemente. Algunas eh, tienen WH y las otras tienen el verb to be. Pero todas son preguntas. Ok. So look at number one. What is the question? Is he playing tennis? Is yes. Tennis? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué es? Porque estoy usando, eh, lo estoy verb usando. Ajá. El verb to be is. Porque estoy usando he, lo cual es singular. He is, you know, is he playing tennis? Okay. Very good. Wait, let me change my keyboard. Okay, what about number two? Look at the question number two. Where are you staying? Where are you staying? Where are you staying? Where are you staying? Are you staying? Very good. Number three. Is she working in a bar? Is she working in a bar? Very good. Is she working in a bar? Number four. Are you drinking tea? Are you drinking tea? Very good. Number five. Where are you staying? Where are you staying? Where are you staying? Number six. Why are you watching now? Why are you watching? Why are you watching TV now? Okay. Remember the structure. La estructura es WH, verb to be, subject, and a verb with ing. Number seven. Is she working in a bar? Is she working in a bar? Very good. Number eight. What is she doing? What are he doing or what is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? doing. What is he doing? Very good. Number nine. Why, why is she calling, she calling her, her friend, friend now? Her friend. She, why is her friend now? Yes, very good. Why is she calling her friend now? Very good. And number 10. I'm I'm nine. Nine. Wait, wait. Wait. I am wait. Okay. Uh, here I have to use am. Primero, right? Am, am I, I, am I mm -hmm. my losing? Losing weight. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Am I losing weight? All right, very good. Let's see. Let's check. I think we messed up in the, the front. No, entonces no es I am. Am I losing? Are you losing? Mm, no sé si escribí el verbo correcto. Losing verb. Mm, no, es con una sola es eh, con una sola o. All right, very good. But you understand, right? Eso es prácticamente lo que estamos haciendo. So very good. Eh, we're changing to yes or no questions usando el present continuous and wh questions usando el present continuous, right? In the video that we saw, we were using the present continuous on WH questions, okay? So, aquí tengo dos worksheets más. La vamos a, la vamos a trabajar aquí. 
Okay. Very good. So, eh, esta, quiero que la trabajen en equipo. Okay. So, what you do is you look at the picture. Okay. And then you have to put it in question and then answer. Okay. So, for example, number one, sería, look at the dad here. Aquí está el papá, está tomando algo. Uh, what is dad, dad drinking? drinking? Uh -huh. No me equivoco, no si está. What, uh -huh. what is, uh -huh, correct. Uh -huh. What is dad drinking? He is drinking tea. coffee and tea. No sé si es coffee or tea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Voy a poner tea. <laughs> He's drinking tea. Okay, so, en una pregunto y la otra yo voy a responder. Okay? And then I'm going to check. Check answers. Mm, no, yo creo que yo le corté aquí algo. O no. What is that? Drinking. No. Question mark. What is my dad drinking? What is Evan wearing? What is dad drinking? No sé por qué no me lo deja. Me lo corta. Let me see. No, no. I creo que está bien. What is dad drinking? Uh -huh. He is drinking coffee. Voy a poner coffee. Let me see. I know it's correct. Ahí está. Entonces creo que es tea. So tengan cuidado con lo que ingresan. Okay? So I think the right, aquí me dice, the right answer is tea. He's drinking tea. Ah. Y usaron contracciones. So, usen las contracciones ustedes. Si pueden. Ok. So, no es coffee, es tea. Alright, very good. So, esta la vamos a trabajar juntos. Así en equipo. Um, la otra podemos practicar aquí nosotros. Ok. The other one is very similar. You have to look at the picture. Y hay un número que corresponde a esa sentence. For example, number one. They are, y aquí están los pajaritos. What are they doing? They singing. are They are singing. singing. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, number two. Aquí está el gatito. He is sleeping. He is sleeping. 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 Eh, creo que hay que ponerle un puntito al final, pero bueno. Number three. He's right. driving. He's driving a truck. Ahí está. So, simplemente estamos poniendo el verbo, ¿ok? So, la vamos a trabajar las dos juntas. Se las voy a mandar. ¿Ok? Eh, let's go to groups. Okay. And I'm going to send it to you in WhatsApp. Estas worksheets pueden escribir ahí directamente de su teléfono o de su, de su computer. Let's go to groups.
José, ¿está ahí? ¿Lo, José? Hello, Jose, are you there? Are playing with a ball? Yes. Uh -huh. Who's playing? Who's playing with the ball? Okay. Uh, who is? Who is? Uh -huh. who is? Okay. Playing with the ball. Okay. Sit, sit. Playing with the ball. The baby. Baby Ben is playing with the ball. Right? Yes. Okay. Number three. Where is Evan sitting? Where is Evan sitting? Mm -hmm. Number four, the bear doing. What is Cindy doing? Number five, the bear is sleeping. Who is, who, is, who is sleeping? Who is sleeping? ¿Qué significa user? ¿Cuál es el meaning of user? Eh, ¿Cuál es el meaning of user? U-S-E-L. Estás mirando el Ah, Yusel. Yusel es el nombre de la persona. Ah, ok. Ah, del perro. Del perro. <laughs> Perdón. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Ok. Where is Yusel sleeping? <laughs> Where 
very happy to say. What is su? What's the common say? Holding. 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 Ok, solo eran siete. ¿eh? Sí, pero hay que dar la respuesta, ¿no? Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then the first he's drinking tea, and the second baby baby. Sorry, Sorry. where well, is the ah? Uh, bye. No, no, está bueno. Is sí. lo grabé. Sí. What is in the doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Cindy? Mm, está estudiando. Está ahí. Oh, no. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Tria. Sí, está ahí. Digo, ¿eh? Está ahí. Who is sleeping? Sleeping. Vamos a estar el perrito. Sí. No. O sea, sería. Y. E X X is. It. It. They say, Where is Usel sleeping? Mm. Where is yourself sleeping? Está dormido. Use sleeping. Pobres under, ¿verdad? Sí, under no. Sobre sí. On. Ajá, sí, on, porque under es bajo. Sí, o sea, sleepy on. ¿Y cómo se dice alfombra? Alfombra. No sé. Eh, alfombra se escribe R U G. R U U T. G. G. Like ah, G. George. Así. Mm -hmm. Yes. George. I Thank think. You. Mm -hmm. Nos falta una, vea. Sí. Sería. No. What is. What is. Su. How. What is. I, what is. Su. Su. Holding. Holding. What is. Su. Holding. 
clothing. Eh, ¿Qué sostiene la abuela, verdad? Sería... Una taza. Ajá. Una taza. Sí. Sí. Ah, is... pero es que hay que ocupar el apor, la rayita. Sí. Sí. Holding. Sí. Ah. A cup. A cup. A cup. Así que lo voy a arreglar aquí, a ver, para que no salga. Sí. Sí. Probemos a ver si lo Ah. <risa> Está, she está Creo que se les, se les olvidó un puntito. Ah, bueno, studying. Studying va con, con eh, va eh, con, eh, lleva una, ¿cómo se dice? Guay. Eh, guay, ajá. Uh -huh. Guay, y después va la, la, pues, la otra ahí. Es que, pero también ahí se le olvidó el verb to be. Usel is sleeping on the rug. ¿Sleeping? Se le olvidó el verb to be. It is usel. Uso. It's, let me see, uso. Oh, okay. It's sleeping in the rug. Okay. Es que creo que no va el nombre. Pero creo que ya no lo puedo corregir. <laughs> no, tiene que darle refresh. <laughs> so, allí lo, lo único que, se le, eh, que veo aquí el error es, es en, en los verbos, en la forma de escribir los verbos con ING. Y se lo olvidaron en la 2. Y en la del perrito se lo olvidó el verb to be. Pero sería usel it's sleeping. Mm. Where is usel sleeping? Eh, es que si ven, no va el nombre, sino que va el pronombre. It's. Oh. Ok. Pero digamos en la respuesta de who is playing with a ball. Baby Ben playing a ball. Mm. Is playing. Is he. playing. Baby. Ah, sería he, he is he. playing. He's playing. Who's a playing ball. with the ball? Um, maybe you can say the baby is playing with the ball. Uh, ah, no, no, se llama Ben. <laughs> Baby Ben. Baby Ben. Yes. Is playing. Ahí solo se le ha olvidado el verb to be. Is. Ok. Ok. He's. El uso de He's holding a cup. Ok. Very good. Se nos pasó el tiempo. Rápido. Um, ¿Pueden trabajar las worksheets? Ahí se las dejo para que las puedan trabajar. Entonces, si, si tienen cualquier duda, este, lo que pueden hacer es revisar respuestas. Y ahí les va a dar la respuesta. Ok, teacher. Ok, very good. Um, Solo estoy esperando que regresen los demás. Ok. Ok, very good. So, eh, se nos terminó el tiempo, but you can finish the worksheets for homework. Ok. Las pueden trabajar ahí los worksheets. All right. So, asegúrense que pueden manejar el, verb to, el, el present continuous en positivo, en negativo y en preguntas. Y agregándole WH questions. 
the present continuous. Teacher, I uh -huh. have a question. Yes. But for example, is eh, trabajando en la número, ay, perdón, en la número dos, que era la pregunta, who is playing with a ball? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yo pues, no, eh, no voy bueno, a poder ver, pero ajá. Bueno, en mi caso, en mi caso, es, eh, como respuesta, no sé si es válido o solo se tenía que utilizar este, uh, los pronombres. Pero en mi caso yo escribí Baby Ben. Uh -huh. Porque la pregunta es, ¿quién está durmiendo? No, ¿Quién está jugando con una pelota? Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, en este caso... Cuando la, la pregunta es who, uh -huh. se, se dice, se menciona el nombre de la persona uh -huh. o se ocupa el pronombre. No, eh, los dos, puedes usar los dos, pero en este caso, como te lo está dando ahí, eh, yo creo que es Baby Ben is playing with the ball. Ah, okay. Sí, le puse teacher y me la puso mala. A mí también Ajá. me la puso mala. Ah, entonces solo pongan Baby Ben. Baby ben. Como respuesta corta. Ah, como respuesta corta. Baby okay. Ben. Ok. Uh -huh. eh... Las que tienen malos, si simplemente ponen su mouse allí, les da la respuesta correcta. Eh... Bueno, esto sería en la computadora porque en el celular no se puede. Tal vez solo tocarlo así, tocarlo, sostenerlo, y tal vez te da la respuesta. No, no, no. Solo me lo selecciona para buscar en Google. Entonces, dale clic solo una vez, ¿no? No. Entonces, si pueden, háganlo en la compu. ¿Ok? Ok, ok. All right. Very good. I'll see you tomorrow then, ¿ok? okay. Bye. Ok. Bye. Very Bye. good. Bye.